sari, the traditional Indian style of clothing, is known to enhance a woman's elegance. Amid a gamut of sari materials ranging from cotton, kanjivarams and chiffons, the beauty of Pochampali silk saris truly stands out because of their double ikkat style of weaving. Nalgonda district, located over 100 kilometers from Hyderabad, is traditionally known as Silk City. Since it is home to a large number of weavers, the skillful hands behind these illustrious saris. To weave this intricate century-old art called ikkat or tie and dye, weavers follow a laborious hand-winding process called asu, which involves moving one's hand over a space of one meter up and down around 9,000 times to make one pochampali sari. Lakshmi Malesham was one of those many female handloom weavers who worked long hours on this manual process that caused immense pain in her shoulders and elbow joints. Her physical pain became an unbearable emotional agony for her son, Chintakindi Malesham. My mother is the reason behind this innovation. My parents made me quit my education and introduced me to this family tradition. When I started helping my father in weaving Pochampali saris, my mother's workload on Asu doubled. Since she was unable to bear the increased workload, she asked me to find another job. However, I was reluctant and stuck to my family business. And that's when I got an idea to build this machine. I could not continue working on the laborious hand process of Asu for my whole life as it became very painful. It was my son who assured me that he will find a solution to this problem. With a strong desire and determination to relieve his mother's and many such women's pain and to keep the family tradition alive, Malisham was struck with the thought of inventing an alternative method for Asu. With no prior technical knowledge, Malisham had to start from scratch by submerging into an enormous cycle of research and development on this challenging project. In 1999, after facing years of financial and technical hardships, Malisham's efforts as a rural innovator finally bore fruit when his invention was recognized by the Honeybee Network, an organization that recognizes grassroots innovations. Malisham's invention, which has been named after his mother Lakshmi, has today stirred a revolution in the weavers' community. Initially, I used to get different equipments to develop this machine. However, none of them would work properly since I had no experience or knowledge. I ended up wasting a lot of time and money. People underestimated me a lot. I was disheartened and went to Hyderabad. I stayed there for two years and worked part-time along with developing the parts for this machine. At last, I found the much required component for the working of this machine. Finally, after seven years, the machine was completed part by part and started operating. Thanks to Malisham's invention, the mechanized ASU device has reduced the weaving time from four hours to one and a half hours and has doubled the production. This means women weavers such as Chandrakala for one can now work in comfort with enough time on her hand to weave up to eight saris per day instead of two and can also help in supplementing the family's income. Earlier, my whole day used to go in doing this laborious work. After the Asu machine arrived, the time consumed on doing this work has reduced drastically. Now, I get enough time to do my household cause as well as to help my children in their studies. Laced with advantages that have led to an increase in production as well as revenue generation, Lakshmi Asu machine has seen a rising demand from markets across the state. With 700 machines already being sold out, Malisham is hopeful to increase his sales figures in future as well. The visionary that he is, Malisham's next step is to develop a loom for weaving saris, for which he has already developed a small prototype. Pochampalli saris are famous throughout the world. The designs of these saris that involve tedious handmade patterns are patented as well. 
However, if we get more advanced machinery, we can create better variety and quality of designs. This will lead to an increase in demand as well as a rise in production. Within the small weaver community in the state, Chintakindi Malesham's innovation has proved to be a blessing for the people by helping them keep traditional art of making silk sarees alive. His unique efforts have also been recognized by the state government, which has now decided to supply the machine to all weaver families with 75% subsidy. His path-breaking innovation, Lakshmi Asu Machine, earned him an accolade as the runner-up at the Nabad Awards for Rural Innovation 2012.